Hey guys, I'm Eddie V. Welcome to the channel. And today I'm gonna show you how to quickly fix your axle seal, the hub, if it's leaking. Okay, sometimes it's not busted. Sometimes I'll show you, sometimes it's someone put way too much grease in there. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's leaking out. So stay tuned with this video, subscribe, hit the subscribe button. And I greatly appreciate if you guys hit the subscribe button, like and comment and enjoy this trucking video. I'll show you guys what an axle seal inside, what, how much oil it's supposed to have or grease versus how much it's not supposed to have. get some uh, paper towels so guys don't save money because I had this happen to me once when I was a company driver back a year ago doing step deck and TA or Petra or whatever the place was um, decided uh, charged a hundred dollars just to fix this and it was such a simple fix okay just paper towels just in case I'm gonna stick it down in here and here's your cup my hands are gonna get dirty so I'm gonna have to wash them on this right here that's too much, that's extra grease. I'm going to let it pour out because that's way too much. It's leaking out, causing a mess, and DOT can pull you over. And DOT himself is going to think you have messed up and you have a leaking seal when in reality you don't. So that's all I'm doing. I'm literally just letting it leak out. Guys, it's way too much grease. Way too much grease. As you can see in there, it's way too much. So we're gonna let it leak out until um, until we have the right amount. So as you can see, guys, you got a clear viewing glass right here. I fished out with my fingers some oil, and it's not supposed to be minimum bit than this. Whoever put too much oil is causing it to look like a leak. When it isn't, when you're all done, we want to wipe everything off so that DOT don't think you have a leaking seal. And there you have it, guys. That's how it's supposed to look. Nice and clean and not leaking. Same as the other side. Add a touch of the other side a little bit too. So now, they sh and nothing should be leaking. I'll check back at it after I wash my hands. Alrighty, guys. So I'm walking back. I just washed my hands. I'm walking back. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and check, see if anything is leaking out, and then what I'm gonna do is gonna move the truck back uh, forward and reverse, and see if anything is leaking out. If if nothing's leaking out, you're good. You don't have an uh, you don't have a leaking uh, seal. That was just someone put too much grease. All right, guys. I do not see any uh, leaking seals anywhere or leaking grease. I don't see any signs of it. Let's go check the other side. on the other side. Now I'm going to move the truck forward and reverse and see what happens next. Alrighty guys, so I'm moving the truck forward and reverse. Put in first gear, release the brakes. Alright, moving it forward just a, just a few rotations forward and then I'm going to stop and I'm going to put it in reverse and do the same thing. gonna go until my trailer hits that curb like not the trailer but my last set of tires perfect don't forget to pull on the brakes all right let's go see how it is outside all right nothing is leaking on the right side let's go check a look at the left side 
And nothing is looking on the right side. And guys, we're good to go. So guys, you have seen um, where I'm going with this video. If you're a new trucker, I hope you watch this video because listen, maybe some bosses you have, I personally haven't, but some bosses complain about every little thing that you keep reporting to them. I haven't had that issue. But as a young trucker, as a starting out trucker, and especially if you don't know mechanics, especially if you're a steering wheel holder, especially if you're driving an automatic truck, uh, I guys want you, I, I want to teach you guys a little bit so that you guys won't be called steering wheel holders and actually know what to do. And then get pulled over for nonsense tickets because obviously DOT don't know that it's not a leaking seal and when you go check it might be too much. How I learned this, I learned this the hard way. I was actually in uh, Troutdale, Oregon and I woke up one time, did my pre-trip. That's why it's very important to do your pre-trip. Like today I've noticed that a letter is, miss, is starting to go missing on my uh, front license plate. So what I did was I go went in the truck stop and I bought myself a, uh, a uh, number and sticked it right on there. Uh, that way you don't get pulled over, you know, for just little things. I mean, yeah, it might not be your truck, but you don't want to get tickets or COC, uh, excuse me, CSA points on your record, whether it's a warning or a ticket, and a leaking hub seal is a ticket for sure, and it is an auto service as well until someone can come there and get it fixed, because accidents do happen when there's no oil in your hub. Now, in my video of this case, I've learned in, when I was in Troutdale, Oregon, I woke up to my pre-trip and I found streaks uh, of oil coming from I thought it was a broken hub seal sat there for an hour in line waiting to get that seal told my boss I'm gonna get a seal when uh, what do you call um, when all it was was that um, was there too much grease someone put too much grease and it was leaking slowly out of the seal because the seal finally gave way from all that grease that seal there is really like the cap is really there to make sure you don't lose grease when it's spinning not to hold grease okay so when it was uh, too much, it couldn't hold it, and it looked like it was a broken seal on the axle, but it wasn't. And guys, that's how basically I, I was sitting there for an hour in line when it finally came, and the mechanic was like, oh, you know, it was the, you got too much oil, let me get it done for you. And he did it, but TA, I didn't pay for it because it was company driver, but TA paid, uh, TA charged, not paid, TA charged like over $100, one hour service for that which took just five minutes. So that's how people can rip you off. I just want to teach you guys because you don't want people ripping you off and you don't want to get tickets from DOT. All right, guys, thank you for watching this YouTube video. Uh, hit the subscribe button. And if you hit the subscribe button, actually, um, I may even comment back. What you guys gonna do is hit the subscribe button and say, in, go down in the comments and say subscribe. And if I'm not busy, I will comment back to you. You'll get a comment from Eddie V himself. I always try to engage with my uh, subscribers. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it useful. And hit the subscribe button because it goes a long way. And it helps me and keeps me going and be doing more YouTube videos. Alright, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Keep on trucking. Not canceled. Hey, guys. I'm Eddie V. Okay, this particular package. Driving a temp in the six series.